saying goodbye is never easy, especially when they've been a part of your life for so long. But last month, the boys from Britain, the Hamster, Captain Slow, and the Orangutan, have called it quits and ridden off into the sunset. Since 1992, these three have fascinated us with their adventures. They've made us laugh, they've made us cry, they were an evergreen presence which always made you feel good. You could go back in time 15, 20, or 25 years and randomly pick out a Top Gear episode, and it would be worth watching again for the 17th time. Not just for their personalities, but the way they could take you with them on a ride in a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, or any other supercar that you could never afford. You see, the male fascination with automobiles is a multifaceted phenomenon that can only be understood through several lenses. Starting way back in the industrial age, cars became one of the first mass-produced consumer goods that symbolized progress in modernity. The association of vehicles with military use during wars, like tanks and jeeps, further ingrained this idea of automobiles as tools of power and control, appealing to traditional masculine traits. Driving a car provides a sense of control over a powerful machine that can be psychologically rewarding. This control aspect taps into the desire for mastery over one's environment. Cars often serve as symbols of status. Owning or driving a particular car can convey social standing, wealth, or even lifestyle, which can be important for the formation of identity. For many of us, cars can be linked to memories of youth, freedom, or bonding with fathers or grandfathers, perpetuating a cycle of generational fascination, tradition, nostalgia, and gratitude. The saga of Top Gear and its spiritual successor, The Grand Tour, marks one of the most iconic chapters in automotive television history. Characterized by the dynamic trio of Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May. On British television, Top Gear really began in 1977, but it was the 2002 reboot with Clarkson, Hammond, and May that catapulted the show to global fame. Their chemistry, humor, and love for cars transformed the show into a really a cultural phenomenon. By the early 2010s, Top Gear was watched by an estimated 350 million viewers worldwide, becoming one of the BBC's most successful programs. The show's format, blending car reviews with challenges and adventures, was both entertaining and educational. Clarkson, Hammond, and May's personalities and humor endeared them to fans around the world, myself included. Their affinity for supercars gave average Joes like myself dreams and thrills once reserved for the wealthy. It might have been vicarious thrills, but those three represented us as they screeched around Gambon or blasted past Hammerhead. In 2016, after some, um, unpleasantness, the trio found a new home with Amazon, launching the Grand Tour. This move and their new show was seen as a direct continuation of their Top Gear legacy, but with more freedom and higher budgets. The Grand Tour maintained the essence of Top Gear with the mix of car reviews, challenges, and international adventures. In late 2023, it was announced that the Grand Tour would conclude with its final episodes filmed in Mauritania and Zimbabwe. This decision came after seven years of the Grand Tour, signaling the end of the trio's collaborative work on automotive television. Social media platforms last month, like X and YouTube, were flooded with nostalgia, gratitude, and kind of a sense of loss. Fans reminisced about how the shows had influenced their love for cars and entertainment, with many of them expressing that nothing could replace the original trio's dynamic. And honestly, I very much agree. Sooner or later, they will undoubtedly try to replace Clarkson, Hammond, and May. They've tried before, with less than desirable results. However, for many, if not all, the essence of Top Gear and the Grand Tour lies irreplaceably with those three gentlemen. The journey of these shows and their host has been more than just about cars. 
It's been about adventure, friendship, and the shared joy of discovery. As we bid farewell to the Grand Tour, we do so with a mix of sadness and gratitude, celebrating a legacy that has not only entertained, but also united car enthusiasts globally. So this ending might close a chapter, but the impact of Clarkson, Hammond and May on television, automotive culture, and their devoted fans will continue to resonate for years to come. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching.